Okay, now that you've got the basics of Photoshop down, it's time to do your photo collage. First, make sure that you have all of your images cropped, tinted, touched up, filtered, and color corrected exactly how you want them. Once that's done, it's time to start assembling them. Begin by opening Photoshop. Once the program is open, you'll need to open up a blank canvas. From the File menu, choose New. A new canvas control panel will pop up. You'll see drop-down menus for presets and measurement units. Choose Custom for your presets. And for measurements, choose Inches. Now, give yourself a width of 7.5 inches and a height of 10 inches. This will give you a final collage that can be printed on a piece of paper 8.5 by 11 with half inch margins. Click OK and you have your canvas. Now that you have your blank canvas, you can select File, Open, and browse for the first image you want to use. Open up your image and select it using the rectangular marquee tool. Now, go to the edit menu and select copy. Copy and paste operates here the same way as it does in a word processing program. You can also use the same shortcuts, command or control C and V. Now, switch to your large collage canvas and go to edit, paste. Your image will appear on the canvas in a new layer and you can edit it as needed. You will be able to scale your image by choosing Edit, Transform, Scale. Your image will now be in a bounding box with control boxes at each corner. Just click on a corner and drag to scale your image. But be careful, Photoshop's default is a free transform feature and it can squish or stretch an image if you aren't careful. After you click and are holding the mouse button, but before you drag to resize, Hold down the Shift key. Now when you scale your image, it will maintain its proper aspect ratio. You should also remember that because you are working with raster images, if you scale your photo larger than its original size, it will begin to lose resolution in your final collage. You might also want to use the Free Transform feature. Hit Control T or go to Edit, Transform, Free Transform, and now you can scale or rotate your image however you want. If you hold your cursor just to the side of one of the corners of your image, you can rotate it. This can create a more free-flowing look, like a scattered pile of photos for your collage. Next, open a new photo, copy and paste it to your collage, and place it where you want it to be. Continue placing photos and arrange them however you like. And remember to choose the proper layer for each photo if you want to change something you've already done. It can add a little depth and a professional look to the whole collage to overlap a corner here and there. Remember that if you want to add titles or captions, to leave room for the words. When your photos are all placed, you should select the Text tool, which appears as a capital T in the toolbar. Just click where you want your text and the blinking text cursor will appear. Now you can type what you want and change your font and text size in the Options toolbar at the top of the screen. For more text options, you can also go to Window, Character to open up the Character and Paragraph control panels. Once you are finished with your captions, that's it. You have completed a photo collage. You can save this file as a bitmap, JPEG, GIF, TIFF, or ping, depending on how you want to use it. Now print it out and put it up for others to enjoy, or email it to friends and family. Congratulations, you have finished your project.